What is up, YouTube? Quick little video. We're going to do a mystery video unboxing. Wasn't enough to uh, do a live, but uh, look at the weather. It's horrible outside. It's pissing down like no tomorrow. So we've got a box down here with Alice. Alice is uh, looking at this box. We've got a box of videos. All the videos I know that are uh, on top. There's Alice. And um, the only videos that we know are uh, the ones that are on top here. I haven't gone through them. Mate from work brought this box in. He found them on the curbside. He found this box on the curbside. He doesn't know what's in there. I don't know what's in there. I'm going to go back to old school. My very first video. My very first video was in the bar. So we're going back. We're going back to the origins. We're going back to the bar. And we're going to find out what is in there and see if there's anything that's worth it. Let's do this. <laughs> I got my gloves, I got this box, bloke from work brought this in, we'll find out, we're going to have keep, and what we're going to re-donate. I have not been through this box, all I've seen is the ones that are on top. So this is just a quick video while it rains. Alright, what's on top? It's Star Wars. Okay, I, I'm not looking any of these up, this is just going to be from my knowledge. So Star Wars, Star Wars is a seller there, we'll check every single video, make sure there's no hidden cash inside them. That Star Wars will sell, that will sell for $10. It will take a little bit of time because there's so many Star Wars out there. What you do need to look out for is Star Wars Episode 3. That is your money maker and you will get about 100 bucks for Star Wars Episode 3. Um, do your homework, learn your videos if you want to resell them. Um, even if they're not even worth anything, some people like to keep these on their shelf and not even watch them. So Star Wars is a $10 video right there to begin with. Cool. Home Alone. Home Alone always sells for me. Always sells. I have some dry patches of Home Alone, but uh, Home Alone sells. It's a $10 video right there. I've sold the clamshell of Home Alone for uh, 20 bucks. But Home Alone uh, always sells. Uh, if you can pick it up for 50 cents or for free, grab it, or even a dollar to turn it into $10, you're laughing. It always sells around Christmas time. We've got Home Alone 2 as well, Lost in New York. Always check inside the covers, make sure there's no hidden cash. Uh, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, good movie, another $10 movie right there. So we got 30 bucks so far for free. That one looked like I had a rat pool on it. Not good. The Lion King. The Lion King is not worth anything. Uh, you can maybe snag this off for about seven, eight dollars. I don't do any movies under ten dollars, so this is not worth my time. Unless I have the other three movies I can bundle up with. So we're just going to put this to the side and re-donate for uh, someone that wants to uh, keep this for their collection. Gingerbread Man. I'm pretty sure this is not worth shit. This is all pretty damaged anyway. It's all cracked and damaged and broken. Um, not worth really anything. I'm going to double check on the Gingerbread Man. So we'll leave Gingerbread Man to the side. We're not sure about him. Al Pacino Scarface. And Scarface always sells. This was sell for $10 every day of the week. A lot of people will have it up. This one's in pretty damn good nick as well. So you get Scarfaces with a lot of different uh, covers. Okay, so this is two movies. Uh, cardboard box here. This is um, Shadowlands and Blink. So what this is, they call these preview tapes. Uh, back in the video shop days we used to have preview tapes and preview tapes would come in and they would have two movies on the one video and they'll have down at the bottom, this is not for sale, uh, do not uh, copy, blah blah blah. Uh, these usually go, collectors like these, and these usually go for about 10 bucks. Um, just always double check though because there is some rarer ones out there like I sold Saw I think for $20 and that just had a plain white case and just said Saw written on the uh, cover like as if someone typed it so these do sell the uh, the, the, the preview tapes uh, sell so if you're going to uh, call them anything call them preview tapes because that's what they are 10 bucks right there We've got a blank uh, sealed uh, videotape. We'll lock that up with some other ones. Need a good wiping over, but yeah, another blank uh, media. We'll lock that up with some other ones. Oh, beauty. Ugh. Really, really filthy in here. Uh, another blank media, so we'll lock that up. 
Youth Disco. Series 2, Episode 7. Looks like some homemade shit. So we'll ditch that. Youth Disco, another one. We'll ditch that. Double check that it's actually in there. A bit dusty. There's a shit on the side of the road, remember? A Goodwill Hunting, not worth anything. Um, so, you can either re-donate these or you can uh, just ditch the tapes and use the tapes, whatever you want, and keep the covers for when you get damaged covers. Just be careful when you're uh, replacing covers with other covers, because if you, uh, people that are buying know what they're after. So if you try and uh, resell a cover that is not the original cover, some of the buyers will know. They will know because sometimes uh, the covers have uh, imprinted Roadhouse or Roadshow or uh, whatever the TriStar, whatever the 90s brands were, they would know and then suddenly you give them something that says Panasonic or Sony or something like that, one of those covers, and they know it's not the actual original cover. So you've got to be careful with that. Uh, don't play around with the covers too much unless it is the same cover that you're replacing. Uh, for a better one. So be careful with that. Do your research on that shit. Harry Potter, not worth anything. The sticker, I've sold this before. I actually sold this not long ago. This cover is really dirty. So this is a, yeah, this is a polygram video. So people like, people like the uh, stickers. Don't pull the stickers off and get the stickers off. People like that it says weekly. S and all that and the uh, video shop that it originated from people like that so $10 there what the hell this is land before time too but it's an Indonesian land before time uh, written there I've never dealt with an Indonesian one so I'm, uh, I'm not gonna dish that or donate that I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have to watch that and see the uh, if they've dubbed it or what they've done that's gonna be funny Snatch is an on and off seller. Um, don't be uh, too uh, concerned about picking this one up of Snatch. Um, it's a slow mover, but it will sell. I've sold this for ten dollars before, and I think I sold it for fifteen as well once before as well. So it does move, but it'll sit on your shelf for a little while until the right buyer comes along. Oh, this cup is fucking gross. So this is a first release uh, home entertainment. Uh, I would leave the uh, broken cover like that because it's got their logo in it and all that shit. Uh, higher learning. So this is one of those gangster movies. People buy these gangster movies from me all the time. These are ones that aren't on Netflix, aren't on, uh, aren't on any of your stands and Netflix and all that crap. So because they haven't been put on DVD, people will buy them. I only get ten dollars, but it's still. $10 in the kit. Okay, so these um, these boxed uh, Indiana Jones, I see there's uh, another one there as well. These boxed Indiana Joneses um, do sell, they sell for about 10 bucks. This one is really rotted, uh, but the tape is in perfect nick, so it's just the cover, we'll display that and show that. Uh, maybe even lock the two of them up for $15, but you should get uh, 10 bucks each of these. They are slow movers, but they do sell, and I've sold a lot of Indiana Joneses before. Ooh, okay, we'll leave that to last. That's a beauty, and I was actually gonna do a video on something that's there very soon. We got a mystery tape. We got a mystery tape. You beauty. It's halfway through. It says computer stuff. Computer stuff. So we got a mystery tape. We're gonna do a mystery tape video. You little fucking beauty. Love mystery tape videos. Uh, we got Fight Club. Fight Club sold for me in the past, but at the same time, there's that many people that have Fight Clubs that don't pick it up. I'm not going to bother with it because I've got so much stuff to um, list. Someone else can pick that up from the uh, thrift store and they can have a uh, time of their life with Fight Club. Same with the Aristocats. Hopefully, some kid picks that up 50 cents from the uh, thrift store, and uh, I'm not going to worry about trying to get $7 for that. Someone else can uh, get some money there. Three Kings. I've sold this before, uh, ten dollars. Hopefully, the hopefully you can't hear the rain. Uh, hope you can hear my voice better. It's raining very hard out there. Three kings. Um, I'll get ten bucks for that every day of the week. I feel a bit dirty from uh, how dirty this box is. 
Uh, we got Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver is a Robert De Niro film, old school one, very good film. Uh, we'll get 10 bucks for that. I've sold that for $10 before as well. Maybe even more, maybe even more. Uh, Matrix Revisited. Uh, everyone's got Matrix videos on uh, eBay, so don't even bother with Matrix videos. Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings video. Now, I'm not gonna sell this one because this is not worth anything to sell, but be careful because you would've looked straight at that and gone, oh, that's a beautiful cover, and they fucking uh, brought that, and it's, a, it's not an X-Rental, but uh, always look at your tape because look, it is an X-Rental. So they've peeled the stickers off and they've tried to make it look like it wasn't an X-Rental. Generally, the one that was sell, martial arts movie sell, that will go for $10. Slow movers though, you'll always see this movie, The Rock. I've got to check inside the cover, make sure there's no fucking hidden cash. If that rain is loud. Uh, the Rock, great movie, but it's never pick it up. Never pick this movie up if you see it for 50 cents or anything. It's not worth it. Not worth it at all. Two more items left in here. There's actually a mobile phone in here. It's an Optus mobile phone. Anyone tell me if that's actually worth any money? We'll look that up. So there's an Optus mobile phone in here. And last but not least, I was actually going to do a video on this uh, when my... <laughs> video arrived so I brought up eBay I uh, do research I do a lot of research and um, some of the rare videos out there are this and I can't believe this is in the box the box is a bit uh, broken but um, this is a very 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 rare uh, video um, there should be about six in the series I think and people were searching and searching and searching for the lost uh, Ronald McDonald videotapes because people thought it was a myth, they couldn't find them. Now you can find them on eBay. I think there's only about five listings on eBay, but these people don't realize that, uh, that these videos are hard to come by. So I just brought one off eBay myself, and I got it for $3.50. I uh, sent an offer and it was new and sealed and I paid for the $10 for postage, new and sealed, it hasn't arrived yet and that's going to go at the back of my cupboard until everyone has uh, sold their Ronald McDonald ones that are on there. So go on there and purchase these and put them at the back of your cupboard because uh, I'm telling you now, within a year, you'll get a hundred bucks for this. Uh, Diary of a Flipper, I uh, noticed uh, he got one, he found one as well and like I said, these are hard to find, uh, these Ronald McDonald uh, videos, they didn't do that many. so. If you find these ones, uh, put them aside because um, a lot of people in America are the ones that want them. Um, I've, I've got two now, so I've got The Legend of uh, Grimace Island. I can't even remember what the one is that I brought that was new and sealed, but I might even watch this one just for a laugh to see how bad the uh, cartoon actually is. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So I could probably get $50 to $100 for this one, uh, but we have to wait for all those other people to uh, sell theirs which is not that many listed um, and I'm telling you now that this is a rare title. These Ronald McDonald uh, videos are rare so if you have them and find them, keep them aside for years to come. Uh, so we had three blank videos. Um, I'm not going to put that in the kitty. We will uh, we will decide later on what we're going to do uh, with them because I'm pretty sure I've got some other ones that I want to lock up. Uh, so we've got, uh, how many we got? These are dirty as all hell. So out of the box, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 at $10 each, $130. We'll say $230, because I'm fucking telling you, I'll get 100 bucks for this within a couple of years, and I'll still be on YouTube, and I will prove that this will be gold in a couple of years' time, but this is going in the back of my cupboard with the other one that I brought, and I'll show you to prove when it comes in the mail uh, on Instagram and that that I received the other one um, So do yourself a favor and find this uh, Ronald McDonald one and uh, put it aside and then we'll all compete against each other and undercut the shit out of each other I'll want these up with some other ones I'll watch this uh, Indonesian uh, uh, Land before time and then we've also got this mystery tape. We'll see what's on the mystery tape. All right guys uh, 130 bucks plus the other Humvee. So but uh, we're not selling this now since it's the future and we've got a phone now we got a phone, it could be a fucking uh, drug dealer phone. So we'll find out what's on there. But $130 for free, all because uh, Brother Rock, Brother Rock uh, gave me uh, a box at work and uh, he found on the side of the trash, town council put out and uh, his little beauty. 
That was a mystery unboxing. Thanks everyone. Click like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. It is your life. I cannot tell you what to do. But we are back here at the bar. At the bar, just like the very first episode, like the very first episode I ever did. We're back in the bar. Um, I didn't have a drink with me though. Shit. So I'll see you next video. I don't know what it will be, but it will be a fucking good one because I'm sure it fucking will be. I don't know why. I just fucking got a good feeling. I've got a good feeling. I've got a good feeling. Alright guys, see you later. See you!